everybody! I am here to talk about my most anticipated reads of 2015. So I don't have as many books here, I feel like, as some booktubers do. I'm only talking about really my most anticipated books. These are books that are like the next in a series, or maybe it's just like one of my favorite authors and they have a new book coming out, so obviously I have to get it. But I'm just going to start with this month in January and just go throughout the year. Unfortunately, only like four of these books have covers, so I will show you those. But the rest of them, yeah, they don't have covers yet. Also, I'll put my Goodreads link below, so if you guys want to friend me or follow me, you could do that. And I do update my Goodreads account actually pretty much all the time so you can see what I'm reading and all my little updates throughout the book and stuff. So the very first book on my list is Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This is like the prequel to Cinder of the Lunar Chronicles which I have up there. It's one of my favorite series of all times. Mixing the sci-fi elements with fairy tale retellings is awesome. I love it. I love it. I cannot wait. Actually there's going to be two books in this year coming out by Marissa Meyer and I'll get to the other one later. According to Goodreads this book comes out on January 27th so just a couple more weeks and then we can finally have Ferris. Next on my list it may seem a little strange to some of you. It's The Ruby Circle by by Rochelle Mead. This is book number six in the Bloodline series and some of you are going to be a little confused considering I haven't started the Bloodline series but I have kind of waited on purpose to where it would be a little closer to read the series. So I'm actually planning on starting the first book at the end of the month and then I'm going to be reading the series next month in February, which is when this book comes out. It comes out on February 10th, right before Valentine's Day. And the cover looks very Valentine's-y, I think, all the pinks and stuff. So I am going to get this in February and I probably won't get to read it on the 10th, but I will read it my goal is by the end of February. So I love the Vampire Academy series so much and I know I'm going to love this. It's a spinoff of that series. There's a few of the same main characters and I'm just so excited. Even though it's not going to be like the same main people, it's it's still going to be really good. I just know it. So next, Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. This book comes out on the 7th of April. This is the second book after Rebel Bell. So a lot of you have heard of Rebel Bell. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very fun book. I really just, I loved it. I thought it was great. So I am really looking forward to it. I, the cover is okay. It's not like gorgeous. I really like the first cover, but it's not terrible either. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Next, I am so excited for this book. Oh my gosh. Jumping forward to May, a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss comes out on the 5th. I am so excited. According to Goodreads, this is kind of combining like fairies with Beauty and the Beast. And Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. And I've already read a few retellings of Beauty and the Beast and I just want more. Sarah J. Moss, you guys know the Throne of Glass series how in love I am with that series. So I'm going to pick up anything this lady puts out because it's going to be phenomenal. And I love this cover. It is so freaking beautiful. It's gorgeous. So this one comes out on the 5th of May, like I said. I'm counting down the days. I actually have a little e-sample of the first couple chapters. I haven't read it yet because I feel like it's just going to be teasing myself. I'm going to read the first four and then just really want the rest and be miserable till May. So I'm going to wait a little bit to read that. But um, yeah, I wish it was May already. Also coming out on May 5th, The Air by Kira Cass comes out. This is the fourth book in the Selection series. I didn't even know there was going to be a fourth book. I thought it was going to be a trilogy, but I actually have not read the one. So I will be planning on reading the one before May so I can read The Air. I really never know what to tell you guys about when I talk about the Selection series because I really, really enjoyed the first book. I thought it was so much fun and it kind of just reminded me of the TV show The Bachelor, but better. Then I really just didn't like the second book, The Elite, so it was kind of terrible for me. Uh, I just kind of wanted to like throw it across the room like a thousand times. So I haven't continued to the one, but like I said, I will. Honestly, if I probably like hate the one just like The Elite, I may not read the air, 
but I say that and then I probably will just because just to see what's gonna happen so anyways I know some of you are really excited about this book and maybe I will be too maybe the one will be really good and then I'll be super excited about this one I just kind of listed it because it's like coming out I probably will read it who knows jumping to June PS I still love you by Jenny Han is coming out there's no cover yet but the first book to all the boys I've loved before was one of my favorite books of 2014 so obviously I am anticipating this next one it is gonna be just a duology there's just gonna be two books I read somewhere that Jenny Han didn't even plan for this to be a duology I think she started writing the first one just like as a standalone and then later on realized like no there's got to be another book so yeah, when I finished it, I didn't know for sure there was going to be another book. So I was a little unhappy that, I mean, it could have ended there, but I definitely for sure wanted more. In October, I have a very fun and surprising book that is coming out by Rainbow Rowell. It is Carry On, which is a Simon Snow story. I know so many people are so excited about this. Fangirl um, was such a fun book. I just, I love fangirl. And so this doesn't have like an official cover yet. Actually, this is just kind of blown up right now on Goodreads as the cover, but I will read anything by Rainbow Rowell and definitely anything out of this story, fangirl, because this was my favorite book by Rainbow Rowell so far. So according to Goodreads, that comes out October 6th. Hopefully that date doesn't get moved, but I am so ready for a Simon Snow story. It's going to be awesome. So October 6th is going to be a very exciting day because The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan is also coming out that day. So this is the first book in his new series, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. So obviously me and all of the other Rick Riordan fans are super excited for this. It's going to be amazing and I'm just counting down the days. I know I have a while, but it's going to be really good. I'm I'm so excited for this book. It's, it's going to be awesome. So this Next book is probably like my second most anticipated book of the year, but I don't think it even has like a date yet, obviously no cover. That is Throne of Glass. There's not even a title yet, so that's sad. It is Throne of Glass number four by Sarah J Moss. So there's two books coming out by Sarah J Moss this year, and I just am so excited. I can't wait. So I do, I have thought about rereading the Throne of Glass series before this fourth one comes out, just because, and I just to get all excited about it again and I just I can't wait for the fourth one. Oh my gosh I can't wait till they release the title and the cover I hope I get an early copy again this year like I did for air fire because Yes, I really want an early copy. Oh my gosh And the last book on this list is my most anticipated for the year So the last book on my list comes out I think in November and that is winter by Marissa Meyer It is the last book in the lunar chronicles. We're so spoiled that we get two books by Marissa Meyer this year This is gonna be So amazing guys if you haven't read the lunar chronicles do it at guys, girls, any age, everyone's gonna love it. Just try it, pick up Cinder, it's gonna be fantastic. I have not met a single person that didn't like it. I've met very skeptical people that then picked it up and then were ashamed and stuff because they really loved it and they wish they would have picked it up sooner. So don't be that person. Read the Lunar Chronicles. Okay, now that I've stopped like bullying you guys into reading that, I really am very excited for winter. It's gonna be so good. Winter is like the big finale. So that was it for all of my most anticipated books. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your most anticipated book is. Let me know if I left anything out maybe. See you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.